The crowded streets of Port Louis near the bus station are a sight to behold. You can see the hustle and bustle of the city life, with people of different cultures, religions, and backgrounds mingling and interacting. You can hear the sounds of honking cars, shouting vendors, and lively music. You can smell the aromas of various cuisines, from Chinese to Creole, from Indian to French. You can taste the flavors of street food, such as samosas, dim sum, dal puri, and gâteau piment. You can feel the heat of the sun, the breeze of the sea, and the pulse of the city. The bazaar in Port Louis, also known as the Central Market, is a place where you can learn about the history and culture of Mauritius through its products and people. The bazaar was established in 1828, and has been a vital part of the city's economy and social life ever since. It is divided into sections that sell different kinds of goods, such as fruits, vegetables, spices, meat, fish, flowers, handicrafts, souvenirs, and clothing. The fruits and vegetables section is one of the most colorful and lively parts of the bazaar. Here you can find a variety of local and imported produce, depending on the season. Some of the common fruits and vegetables that are sold here are Mangoes, these are sweet and juicy fruits that come in different varieties, such as Julie, Flora, and Alfonso. They are usually available from November to February. Papayas, these are large and oval fruits that have orange flesh and black seeds. They are rich in vitamin C and can be eaten ripe or green. They are usually available from October to March. Pineapples, these are spiky and yellow fruits that have a tangy and refreshing taste. They are often used to make juice, jam, or chutney. They are usually available from December to April. Bananas, these are long and curved fruits that have a soft and sweet flesh. They are one of the most popular fruits in Mauritius and can be eaten raw or cooked. They are available all year round. Lychees, these are small and round fruits that have a red skin and a white flesh. They have a delicate and fragrant flavor and are often eaten as a dessert. They are usually available from December to January. Tomatoes, these are red and round fruits that are used in salads, sauces, and curries. They are one of the most versatile vegetables in Mauritius and can be eaten raw or cooked. They are available all year round. Potatoes, these are brown and oval tubers that are used in many dishes, such as biryanis, daubs, and fritters. They are one of the most common vegetables in Mauritius and can be boiled, fried, or baked. They are available all year round. Chilies, these are green or red peppers that are used to add spice and flavor to many dishes. They are one of the most essential ingredients in Mauritian cuisine and can be eaten fresh, dried, or pickled. They are available all year round. The bazaar in Port Louis is a place where you can experience the diversity and richness of Mauritius. You can interact with the friendly and helpful vendors, who will gladly tell you more about their products and their stories. You can also sample some of the delicious street food, such as dal puri, samosas, and alauda, that are sold near the bazaar. Port Louis is a city with a rich and diverse history. It was first used as a harbor by the Dutch settlers in 1638, who named it Harbor of Tortoises, because of the abundance of giant tortoises on the island. Later, in 1735, it became the administrative center of Mauritius under French rule, and was renamed Port Louis in honor of King Louis XV. The underpass from Cotton to downtown Port Louis is a pedestrian tunnel that connects the Cotton waterfront with the central business district of the city. It is one of the two underpasses that were built as part of the rejuvenation project of the Port Louis waterfront, which was inaugurated in 2012. The underpass from Cotton is also known as the South Underpass, and it is located near the Rogers Building. The underpass from Cotton is a convenient and safe way to access the downtown area of Port Louis, where you can find many historical and cultural attractions, such as the Government House, the Place d'Arm, the Jumma Mosque, the Mauritius Postal Museum, and the Opera Vasi God. The harbor area around Cotton is a historical and cultural landmark of Port Louis, the capital city of Mauritius. 
It was named after Jean-Dominique Michel de Cauden, a French explorer who established a salt pan near the bay in 17,261. The area was developed over the years as a strategic port for trade and commerce, hosting various facilities such as a powder magazine, an observatory, a shipyard, and warehouses. In 1996, the Cauden Waterfront was inaugurated as a commercial and leisure complex, offering a range of attractions such as shops, restaurants, cinemas, casinos, a marina, and a five-star hotel. The Cauden Waterfront also preserves and showcases the historical and cultural heritage of Mauritius, through the Blue Penny Museum, the Cauden Arts Center, and the Robert Edward Hart Garden. The Cauden Waterfront is a popular destination for locals and tourists alike, who can enjoy the scenic view of the harbor, the vibrant atmosphere of the city, and the diversity of the products and people. Port Louis was an important resupply port for French ships, during their passage between Asia and Europe, around the Cape of Good Hope. It also witnessed many historical events, such as the arrival of the first indentured laborers from India in 1834, the abolition of slavery in 1835, the outbreak of the plague in 1899, and the riots of 1968 that led to the independence of Mauritius. Today, Port Louis is the capital and largest city of Mauritius, with a population of about 150,000 people. It is the economic, cultural and political center of the country, and hosts the main harbor, the parliament, the Supreme Court, the cathedral, and many other landmarks. The people of Mauritius are a diverse and multicultural group, with origins from different continents and regions. According to the latest United Nations data, the population of Mauritius is about 1.3 million people. The majority of the people of Mauritius are of Indian descent, who make up about 67% of the population. They are mostly Hindus, but some are Muslims, Christians, or Sikhs. They speak various languages, such as Bhojpuri, Hindi, Urdu, Tamil, Telugu, and Marathi.
The second largest group of people are the Creoles, who account for about 28% of the population. They are mostly of African and Malagasy ancestry, but some have European or Asian roots as well. They are mainly Christians, but some are Muslims or follow other faiths. They speak Mauritian Creole, a French-based Creole language, as their mother tongue. The third largest group of people are the Chinese, who represent about 3% of the population. They are mostly descendants of merchants and traders who came to Mauritius in the 19th and 20th centuries. They are mainly Buddhists, but some are Christians or follow other religions. They speak Cantonese, Hakka, Mandarin, or other Chinese dialects, as well as English and French. The smallest group of people are the French, who make up about 2% of the population. They are mostly descendants of the colonists and settlers who came to Mauritius in the 18th and 19th centuries. They are mainly Catholics, but some are Protestants or follow other faiths. They speak French, as well as English and Creole. The people of Mauritius are proud of their island and their identity, and they live in harmony and respect with each other. They are known for their hospitality, friendliness, and tolerance. They celebrate their cultural diversity and heritage through various festivals, events, and traditions. The bus station near the Cité La Cure is one of the main transportation hubs in Port Louis. It connects the city center with other parts of the island, such as the north, the east, and the south. It is also close to some of the historical and cultural landmarks of Port Louis, such as the Opera Vasi Ghat, the Mauritius Postal Museum, and the Street Louis Cathedral.